Today I've come along to a television studio to find out all about the art of lighting television programmes. Now all I've been told is to look for someone called Mark, who's going to tell me more about it. Cool, wow, this looks good. And what Helen doesn't know is her challenge will be to light a group for the television programme Top of the Pops. Excuse me, hello. either of you Mark? Yes, I'm Mark. Oh, hello, I'm Helen Nessie. Oh, nice to meet you, hello. Hi. Come to find out about some lighting. I have, yes. Lighting television programmes, I believe. Yes. This is the sort of thing we hang all the lights on. And this can go up and down. We can take this up now. Mark! You can take the hoist up, please. There you go. So we can put these all the lights at any height we like. And what programme would you actually use this for? Well, this, this studio always does Top of the Pops. You know, um, I can't believe how many there are up there. I know. I, I, I'm not sure there are about uh, four or five hundred lights in here, I should think. <gasps> and uh, keeping track of it's quite complicated. Yesterday we had Meatloaf and Take That were on that stage, and Meatloaf was on that stage. So it's, it was quite a busy day yesterday. It was uh, seven different bands were in. Every week we try and change it around quite a little bit, and certainly we try and change the colours and all the sets. And uh, you may be wondering how all this is controlled. Obviously, it's, it's all sort of happening, and we're just talking about it. Well, if we go up here, there's a, we have a lighting gallery upstairs. Wow, so many switches. And Francis operates the costume. Hello. How do you do? Helen, what is the most exciting sort of lighting move you can show me? Bring up this feeder here, this one here, and off it goes. That's brilliant. Man. And let's, let's try. Can I try and change it? Yeah. Excellent. The television camera works in the same way as the human eye. To see anything, we need light. The main lamp we use to light somebody is called a key light, and by varying its position, we can alter how somebody looks. By lighting from below, we can create a horror type effect, also from above. We can light from one side, casting the other side of my face deep into shadow. Let's look through that again. From the front, from below, with the horror effect, from above, for another horror effect, and from this side, to put the other side of my face into shadow. To help fill the shadows on the other side of my face, we can use a second lamp from the other side. Also, if we're keying from below, we can use a second lamp again, filling from above. Now let's have a go at playing with some lights to light the back of the scenery. You can see these are white lights, which we've coloured with different coloured gels. Ah, oh, so the red gel's already the on red top Red gel's already it. on top. We've actually got a blue gel and the green, again, a white lamp with a green gel in front of it. Oh, I like that green. If we bring on the red lamp as well as the green, can you see how the backing turns to yellow? Yes. If we, say, take off the green and bring on the blue, it goes to a purpley colour. If we take, um, take off the red and bring on the green, then it goes to a cyan colour, almost it feels like it's underwater type colour. Yes, that's yeah? nice. We can demonstrate this in another way by using three spotlights. You'll see as the red and the green spots come together and overlap, mm -hmm. they make yellow. Hey, the piece in the middle is a bit of a surprise. I would have thought if the three colours came together that that would have been the most colourful bit. Well, that's the way light works. Red, green and blue makes white. Well, this is what I've decided you can light first. Oh, OK. All right, so you're going to be able to need to speak to Fran upstairs using your microphone yep. and listen to her using the headphones. Oh. Shall we see if she's there? All right, so, uh, hello, Fran. Can you hear me upstairs? Yes, I can, Helen. Yes, you are. Great, OK, well, let's go and get started. What a playground. And I have so many lights there to are. choose from. Wow. OK, I don't know where to begin. First of all, I'd like to change the colour of the dinosaur. I'd like to actually flood it with a whole red. Huh? How okay. would I do that? Well, that's you have to ask Andy to do that. Uh, Andrew, this is yeah. one for you. Right, I'd like to actually make this dinosaur red. How do I do that? Uh, that's no problem. Yes, there we go. We've got yeah. red. And now I would like absolutely outrageous spiral design or one of those effects that you showed me earlier. OK, well, that's Andy again. Andrew. Okay. Another one for you now. A bit more creative this time, though. Okay. Can we have a bit of spiralling effect going on in the background? So that's a floor light. And have we got blue on that side? Yes, we have. Fran, what do you have, have from you upstairs? Am I able to get a, a green light down on this stage area? Is this one OK? I'm flashing it at the moment. Yes, the light's on. Well, we're just getting a green gel over here. Thanks, Fran. Clip on there. Can we see some green? There, we've got green on one side, blue on the other. The dinosaur itself is red. I like the spiraling effect at the back. How about that? 
perfect. Take a close look at the stick. It looks as if it has a bend in it, a sharp bend. But from here, it looks normal, perfectly straight and no bends. When light travels from air into water or anything else that lets light through, like glass and plastic, it gets bent, it changes direction. Take a look at these. All these shapes are made out of glass. Glass lets light through it, like water does, it's transparent. See how the light bends as light passes through them. The most bending takes place at the edges, where the light moves from air to glass or glass to air. This bending effect is called refraction, and we can use it to do some useful things. This is called a lens. It's a piece of glass made into a special curved shape. The three beams of light are brought to a point by the lens. We say the lens focuses the light. How far away this point is depends on how fat the lens is. The fatter the lens, the nearer the point. Here, the light bounces off the dinosaur, passes through this lens and onto a screen. If we put the screen in at the point where the light meets, that's the focus, we get a picture. Do you notice anything strange about the picture? Because a lens bends light in this way, we can make use of it. This is a giant camera. At the front is a lens. The light passes in through the lens to a screen at the back. The picture on a screen like this is called an image. Again, do you notice anything? another day and the second stage to my training. I'm coming along to the production office of Top of the Pops for a planning meeting. But Mark, you've got to tell me, what exactly is a planning meeting? Well, it's where we meet the production, we find out what's going to be on the show, discuss all the songs and see what they're going to look like. Good, I'm going to be able to find yep. out more. It's just in here. Just through here. <laughs> right, here we are. I'm going to sit down there, I'll introduce her yeah. to everyone. Uh, this Rick, the producer. Hi, Helen. hello. How are you doing? Excellent. Hello, Helen. Hello, Helen. Hope you don't mind me sitting in. No, not at all. Welcome, welcome. Not too busy this week. Good, good. Six, well, I say that, six <laughs> bands. And the next group on A, Eternal, who sound like... Four girls, lead vocalist, three dancers, really nice routine, eternal. Nice warm feel around that one, I think. Make, make them look good. So, um, well, I don't know. Helen, how do you feel about doing this one? This is, this is your challenge. You're to like this one for us. Oh, <coughs> OK. Well, I'll do the best I can. <laughs> well, it's quite a challenge. Well, we're going to go up to Wells Street this afternoon and look through it quite yeah. carefully on the set so you can see exactly what you've got to do. OK. okay. I'll give it a go. I'm not saying how good it's going to be, but uh, mm. definitely I'll try anyway. Excellent. Excellent. OK. Uh, I'll let you uh, mull that one over while we press on with, with the rest of the meeting, don't mind. Um, yep. The beginning of that. Right, OK. Should we go and work out in a bit more detail what we're going to do? All right. Well, that was a bit of a surprise. I only thought I was observing other people. I really didn't think that I'd actually have to light one of the bands. And what I decide to do is really going to affect how they look. It's actually going to appear on top of the pops. I hope someone's going to help me out. That is the one. That's is that the right? one. Yep, that's the one. Good. Well, I'm glad about that because I feel more comfortable because that's where I had to light <laughs> that dinosaur. However, the dinosaur was a lot more easier than this band. And the dinosaur didn't move, did it? Didn't move. This I've got, I've got move. dancers, singers, and uh, fit it in with the song as well. So that's the ones at the ceiling. Yes. That's coming from here. What other ones? There you go. Brilliant. Well, that's the warm glow that the director was saying about. 
bit harsh, though. I'd like to introduce some different colours. Aha. Uh -huh. Wow. Don't forget, it was red last week. Oh, no. It would have been red last week, so oh, do you crumbs. want to do it red again? Oh, this looks much better. Yes, I like the pink and the blue. Okay. Um, of course, the next thing I've got to think about is lighting the actual groove. Yes, yes, you'll need to put some white Can lights I on. Can I see it. some white lights on the front yes. here? I must say, I can't quite judge it because I'm standing in the way. Okay. Right, The best no. way is to look at your shadow. If you look at your shadow as well. Well, I was going to yep. make you the guinea okay. pig, actually. Right, how yeah. about if you stand okay. there and I come away? Because then I'll have a better idea of how it's going to look. So, so if I come over here... Can you move around in the positions yep. that the four people... How yep. good is your dancing, Mark? Not very good. <laughs> the lead singer will be about here, I should think. Mark, this looks like it's on fire. Why is this here? Well, it's a smoke machine. It puts lots of smoke into the air. So we can see all the light beams, because to see the light beams, we need to reflect the light off something. And that's what we use the smoke for. So it's not for a spooky atmosphere? No, it's to make everything look pretty. Great, we'll use a couple of those. Okay. Then. For us to be able to see anything, light has to bounce off what we're looking at. In this case, the dinosaur. The eye is a ball with a hole at the front, the pupil, where the light goes in. On the inside of the pupil is a lens which focuses the light on the surface at the back of the eyeball. This surface is called the retina and is made of special cells that react to the light and send messages to our brains and so we see. Let's look at that again. Light bounces off the dinosaur, goes through the lens which forms an image on the retina. Like the other images made by lenses, it's upside down. But more often than not, the things we're looking at move. As the dinosaur comes closer, the muscles around the lens make it fatter, keeping a sharp image focused on the retina. The lens is jelly-like and can change shape very fast. If light gets too bright, the iris, that's the coloured part, can make the hole smaller and so let in less light. I really like these moving lights, you know, but uh, can you explain to me how they work? Well, the light just reflects off a mirror at the front here. And by controlling it with a computer, that's what Andrew's got down there, we can move the mirror around and we can have different colours and we can make it produce different patterns. So the light itself is just shooting off in the same place. It's just the mirror that's making yes, it move. Yes, the mirror moves it around, and he can memorise the positions of the mirror, and it'll come back to that same position every time. It was during the 1830s that an important discovery was made. Using a specially coated plate, the image produced by a lens was captured. The photograph had been invented. One of the ways of sharing photographs with many more people was by the magic lantern shows. This was made possible by using a projector. Light passes through the picture to a lens. The picture is put in the projector upside down so when the light from it passes through the lens, it appears on the screen the right way up. By the end of the 19th century, it was found how to make the still pictures move. They were called living photographs, and so the cinema was born. Now, instead of one still picture, hundreds are projected quickly one after the other, which gives the impression of movement. This is the largest projector in Britain. The IMAX projector shows films at the National Museum of Photography, Film and Television in Bradford. The large film runs past a 4,000 watt light bulb, a hundred times more powerful than the bulb in a table lamp. As before, the pictures are running through upside down, since the lens turns the picture round. The lens focuses the picture on a screen five stories high. To get some idea of how large the picture is, this is the size of pictures projected in many cinemas.
And this is the IMAX picture. It's impossible to convey pictures this big on television. There are plans to build more of these cinemas. Perhaps there'll be one near you soon. It was the greatest mystery on Earth. This is it, it's the day of the recording and the finishing touches are currently taking place in the studio. There's such a hive of activity. The sets are being constructed, the sound checks are being made and I'd like to make a few changes to the lighting myself. So I'll see you later. Hello Francis, this is Helen in the studio. I'm at Par Bar Camera Left. Can I have channels 5 and 243 please? Great, they're on. Now, these are going to be colours uh, 363 and 48. Obviously, we want to try and include everything they're doing. Yeah. So we can do that easily by... We can rotate the barn doors around. Yeah. And we can open them out of the side here. We can go over the other side and we can set the other one. Yeah. But be careful because it does get pretty hot. OK. Coming to Eternal in five, four, three, two, one. Eternal. Oh, this is it. I can't believe we finally got the lights off now in time. Good. Yeah, I was really pleased too. Good. Thank you very much for letting me have a go. Pleasure. 